iteachgeek.com. <laughs> Ask Brian. That's me. Welcome to I Teach Geek. I'm your host Rashad. I'm here to show y'all about ISOs. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to extract the ISO from a disc, burn the ISO to a disc, and mount an ISO on a virtual disk drive so if you really don't know what ISOs are the basic e explanation I have is ISO is the file that's on any installation disk so if you have like a Windows disk that's an ISO on there or any kind of installation disk if you have like Office the file that's on there with all everything is and tells the disk what to do is the ISO so okay so first I want to show you how to extract an ISO from a disk um, I have a real easy tool that you can use it's called image burn it's free you don't have to pay for it so first thing we're gonna go ahead and install image burn so I'm gonna go ahead and go get image burn all right like I said image burn is free you can go to imageburn.com go to download you can pick whatever mirror you want mirror is the server where you want to get it from I'll pick the first one All right, because it's free, it has a lot of advertisement. So d just click on this link. Any other link will take you somewhere else. But this is the link to the actual download. So you go ahead and click here. Let's go ahead and run it. All right, just go through the wizard. Oh, uh, when you come here, make sure you unclick all these. This is how you add extra stuff to your computer that you don't need. You just want the program. You don't want all that stuff. You can say no or yes, but we should. This should be the newest version. Then the thank you should come up. All right, let's go ahead and run it. All right, right now, I have a Windows Seven installation disk inside my computer. So go ahead and put the installation disk that you want to back up. You want to go ahead and create an image file from the disk. So cl click here. All right. Now we go ahead and pick your destination, wherever you want to put it. I say I'm going to put it on my desktop. And go ahead and create the image. When it finishes, you should get operation is completed. You press OK, and it should make a nice little ISO file right here. You can name it whatever you want. You can back up any dish you have in your house by doing this method to make for safekeeping, not to redistribute it, but for safekeeping, it's a nice little tool. Um, now I'm about to show you how to burn an ISO. If you do have an ISO, I had downloaded this from Ubuntu's website so I can install Ubuntu on my computer. Or you can use the Windows 7 one if you want to too, but right now I'm going to show you with the Ubuntu one. So we want to go go ahead back into Image Burn. This time we want to do the same thing we did with making the ISO, but we're going to write it this time. So we write image file to disk. So you go ahead and click on here. Now when you come in here, it shows you a disk in there. Make sure it's a blank disk. Now we want to go ahead and pick the ISO we want to use. We're going to go ahead and use the Ubuntu one. There you have it. And all you got to do is start burning. Um, if you don't want to burn it to a CD, you can actually put Ubuntu on a thumb drive. I have a tutorial on how to make a bootable thumb drive where you can install the operating system from the thumb drive. It's much easier and better to, than having it on a CD or you might have a computer that doesn't have a CD drive so you need a thumb drive I have a tutorial on that so look out for that tutorial and uh, all you have to do is just go ahead and press start or write and it'll write to the CD the last thing I want to show you is how to mount an ISO on a virtual drive I know it's kind of confusing so I'm going to kind of explain 
what a virtual drive is. So we're going to go ahead and start. We're going to go to C. What, what we're going to do is make a virtual CD drive. It's, it's not going to be real. It's going to be it's going to be fake but real at the same time. <laughs> I know it's hard to explain, but so basically we can mount that ISO in here so we don't have to use a disk or anything. We can just you install the files that's from that ISO and make it real clean. So let's go ahead and go to use another software free software tool I have. Okay, if you just Google virtual clone drive or go to the URL You'll come here. We're gonna go ahead and download it. It's free. So we're gonna go ahead and and click on this. We go ahead and run. Let's go ahead and accept it. Go ahead and press next. Install it. Say install. All right, let's go ahead and close it. All right, now you see it shows up that we have another disk drive in here, but actually we really don't. This is really a virtual disk drive. So now we can right click on it. And we can mount an ISO there. So we go to mount. And find the ISO. We go ahead and click on this, the Ubuntu. And now it's treated it like I just put the disk in there. So this can save you some time if you're installing like Office or any anything on your computer. This will save you time from using disk. Any kind of ISO. Right. I can't, of course I can't install Ubuntu while Windows running. But it's like actually putting a disk inside so you don't have to use any disk. It's real clean and real nice. So you can go ahead and play around, make some, make some images, burn some images, whatever you like. I'm your host Rashad. Thanks for watching.